Hey guys, Greg Benz here. In this tutorial, you'll learn two simple tricks to make more beautiful vignettes. Artistically, the idea with a vignette is to darken the edges to help draw the viewer's eye towards the central part of the image. Now we can begin this process by going up and choosing either a lasso selection or the rectangular marquee, which is what I'll use here. And I'm just gonna draw a selection to help identify the areas that should be vignetted. So things outside of this are gonna be targeted to be darkened. I'll show you later in the video how to do this with just using Photoshop, but the way that I do it is with Lumenzia. Just click on vignette, you automatically get a darkening layer with a feathered mask at a low opacity, and you can just increase the opacity to down the amount of vignetting that you want. So we can see we've gone from before to after and already improved this image quite a bit. However, notice details like these trees up above, how they're starting to get a little bit muddy and lose detail because we're darkening the highlights just as much as the midtones and shadows. Ideally, we would target this even further with a luminosity mask or blend if to only hit those darker areas and not necessarily bring down the highlights in the vignetted area. And we can do that by using blend if with Lomenzio by going to the blend if under mode and then just clicking on something like a darks three blend if, which you can see has improved things quite a bit. If it command Z to look from before and after, you can see how much that blend if has really improved that vignette. We still have the same vignetting effect, but it's just a much higher quality result. So that's the first trick is using a blend if to better target what you're adjusting in the image. The second trick is that if darkening the edges is good, why not also lighten the interior, which we'll do by drawing a secondary vignette. In this case, we're gonna just put a rectangular marquee around the middle here. This time, hold down Alt while clicking on vignette. And when we do that, we're telling Lomenzia to brighten the interior. So in this case, we have a lighter interior vignette, which has enhanced the image, but just like before, we've lost some detail in the shadows. So ideally, we would target just the midtones and highlights to be lightened. And we can do that by clicking on something like a lights to blend if, and then we can see from before to after how much that has given us better targeting in the road, but it has darkened the results. So I'm gonna increase the opacity to offset the blend if, and now we have a much better result. If we look from before to after, using those two simple tricks, lightening the interior and using blend if to help target highlights and shadows, we get a much better looking result. At this point, the image is done, it looks great. But if you don't have Lumenzia, let me quickly show you how you would do a similar workflow without Lumenzia. Let's hide these layers and we'll start again by creating a rectangular marquee around the area that we want to vignette. Now, Lumenzia handled the inversion for us before, but we need to tell Photoshop we're working on the outside. So you need to go up to Select, Inverse. So we now have selected the exterior of the image and then we can go create a new adjustment layer. Good options include brightness, contrast, levels, and curves. I use curves with Lumenzia because you can get a little bit higher quality result, but brightness contrast is the most intuitive. So let's use that and then just simply bring down the brightness adjustment. You see we're darkening the edges here, but of course we have a very harsh transition because the selection was not feathered and we have a harsh mask. If we click on the mask, our properties now show density and feather, bring up the feather slider until you get a nice transition, usually between about one and 500 pixels, creates a nice smooth transition from one area of the mask to the other. We now need to add our blend if as we've done before. The way to do that is double click on the right side of the layer, which brings up this layer style dialog. And the underlying layer is the part you want to adjust. If you're trying to work on the outside where we want to avoid changing the highlights, you would bring in the white slider, which helps protect the highlights. You could similarly bring up the darks when you're working on the interior, but just bring in this white slider a bit and then hold down alt to split the slider and move these sliders apart. And that's what will give you this nice natural transition, but avoid adjusting the highlights. And we can see from before to after, we have similarly done a really nice job with blend if to help protect those highlights and still get a high quality vignette. Hope you enjoyed that guys. Be sure to click subscribe and ring the bell. And to learn more about Lumenzia, please head to gregbensphotography.com slash Lumenzia.